in Georgia called the Coleman Baker Act could lead to the reinvestigation of the murder of Kim Croft. She was found strangled to death in 1987 at the age of 19. Croft's family held a vigil for her on Tuesday, hoping Catoosa County Sheriff's Office would take notice and agree to reopen the cold case. Local 3's Riley Nagel spoke with an attorney to learn more about the act and what it could mean for the case of Kim Croft. Local attorney Robin Flores gave me his interpretation of the Coleman Baker Act, saying if the family of Kim Croft believe there's a reason to open the case, then the act makes it the duty of the law enforcement agency to do so. Yes, it could help them if there are new leads to point conclusively to someone else. Flores went on to say if an agency is requested to look into a cold case under the Coleman Baker Act, law enforcement would not be confined to statutes of limitations. And so they must at least take a look at it, particularly, you know, when you got grieving families in a cold case. Nobody likes a cold case on their books. The case wasn't considered closed until after Kim Croft's uncle-in-law, Jarvis Suggs, was charged and acquitted of her murder in 1994. Flores says because of the double jeopardy law, the uncle could not be tried again. And so practically it's going to be incredibly difficult if you got someone who's already charged and acquitted. And then you try to bring somebody else in. Practically, you're going to have a very difficult time getting around that unless you got very solid DNA evidence to tie somebody in. The sister of Kim Croft, LaVonda Croft Deloney, tells me they've given their evidence and information they found to Catoosa County Sheriff's Office, which they believe can assist in an investigation. Flores reiterates under the new act, the Catoosa County Sheriff's Office will have to reopen the case. Sheriff's office opens it, finds enough there to present to the district attorney, and the district attorney finds that there's enough there to the grand jury. You know, they're not going to worry about politics. They'll present it. We reached out to the sheriff's office who say they're looking into the new act and have not made the decision on whether or not to reopen the case. Stick with us for further developments on this story. For now, reporting in Studio B, I'm Riley Nagel, Local 3 News.